I did a repost of a Vickers Guide image today where Vickers Guide asked their viewers to identify a rifle that was in the image. And one of the members of my group stated that the rail system on the featured image screamed Knight's Armament Company. Well, that's because it is a Knight's Armament Company design. And the rifle featured in the picture was the Colt Knight's Armament IAR 6940H heavy prototype that was evaluated in the United States Marine Corps IAR program. Colt submitted two prototypes for testing in the program. They had their standard IAR 6940 and then the Colt Knight's Armament IAR 6940H with the H representing a heavy designation. It was supposed to withstand heavier uh, sustained firing than the standard IAR 6940 design. And what you see in front of you here is an actual IAR 6940H prototype upper receiver that is in my collection. It is believed that uh, about five of these still exists from the program with this being one of them and just some quick features on it used a standard a2 flash hider um, you can see here the bayonet lug is mounted uh, forward of the front sight base and they did that the iar needed to be able to still mount a bayonet but it had to be away from the gas block or it would interfere with the rail system. And this rail system, Knight's Armament calls the heat rail system, and it functions as what is called a heat sink as opposed to just a rail system. And a heat sink differs in that it draws heat away from the barrel assembly instead of just letting the heat naturally dissipate. Knight's Armament released some heat rail systems onto the commercial market through a, through a uh, bulk reseller on Gunbroker initially back in 2018. And I've got one of those, and it comes in this white box. And I apologize that I can't get everything in the image. I'm not set up to do videos, so I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, but you, hear, you see here that this is designated as a heat rail system. This is the box they came in. And these initially sold for about $200. And I will show you this uh, compared to what came on the prototype. We'll get this out for you. So when I hold this up here, you can see a couple of differences uh, right off the bat between it and the prototype heat sink or, or heat rail system. One is this, this is a newer design of the heat rail system. It features a QD socket here. And you notice it has this metal piece here toward the back on the, on this evaluation prototype. Um, you see this plastic material here that's that's part of this movable handguard. Well, there is a similar piece back here made out of the same material um, that was there in place of this metal piece, but it broke off, I guess, during testing. You can see there's a small piece of the material remaining here behind that pin. And so, <clears throat> Matter of fact, in Vickers Guide image, that weapon featured has this newer design on it. And so I'm going to make images of this available to Vickers Guide if it's something that um, they would like to reference. But anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys a, a quick look at that. A couple of differences. You know, it's got this interesting flat spot over here where that is not present on this side. The prototype is, is set up the same way. And I'm really thinking about 
getting set up to do videos and giving you guys a little more detailed look at some of the stuff that I have. But anyway, in response to uh, that member's comment earlier about that rail system looking like something from Knight's Armament, that's because it is. And there's two different variants out there. You see these uh, individual heat rail systems come up for sale every once in a while. Um, it's been about 18 months since I've seen one for, for sale. And that was on eBay. So you just have to keep an eye out for them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, getting to take a look at that. See you.